welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is the What's On My Kindle edition for February 2020. Okay, so late last year I started this sort of series that I was doing monthly of the last 10 books that I purchased and last 10 books that I received as ARCs uh, on my Kindle and you guys seem to like it so I'm continuing on with the series and the month of February is almost over and we need to do this video. So let's jump into the last 10 books that I purchased. So I purchased Trouble by Adriana Locke. I have this as an ARC and I plan on reading this but I also wanted to support this author because I am enjoying this series. Even though I have it as an ARC already, I wanted a actual copy of my own because sometimes the ARC copies can be a little different than the finished copies. So wanted that. Next book is A Favor for a Favor by Helena Hunting and I was actually gifted this through a sort of book swap, uh, not book swap, a book giving thing that went on during Gap for Galentine's Day and uh, through one of the authors that I follow and it was really sweet. I put it on my wish list and the person that drew my name ended up gifting this to me and I appreciated it. I also purchased Whiteout by Adriana Anders and I purchased this because I am working on something. So you guys might hear about this book in the future. No clue what it's about, but it, you might be seeing it soon. I purchased a copy of Lost Girls or Lost Girl by D. Garcia and this is the second book in the Rosewood Realm series. This is a sort of continuation of Venom but it's not really a continuation because Peter is gone. Uh, this is Wendy's story after she is brought back from the real world to the Rosewood realm and her story. It was so good. It was so dark and crazy. So yes. Very good. Very very good. But I had to have my own copy and support the author as well. I'm looking forward to the third book in this series. The next book was That Secret Crush by Megan Quinn. This is the third book in those brothers that we have met in the other, uh, whew, in other books from the Get Lucky series. And I thought I was on the art team for this, but I wasn't but I wanted a copy of it because I will be seeing Megan at a Polycon, I believe, and I needed a copy so that she could sign it for me. Yes. The next book was Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbard. I arc read this months ago, and I think it may have went on sale, and that's why I bought it, so I wanted to support the author and have my own copy of it. A Pizza My Hot by Tegan Hunter. This was another support the author because I read this and I really enjoyed it so I need it in my collection. I also got Don't Let Me Go by Tegan Hunter and this one I did read as an ARC just recently. I will make sure that you guys have the review up in the cards so that you can see what I said about it. I really enjoyed it. It is a Enemies to Lovers so if that's your jam go check it out. I also purchased Dear Ava by Ilsa Madden Mills. She is my new adult queen and auto buy freaking author. I don't care what it's about. I love her and I love her writing. So I went and got this one. And then the 10th book that I recently purchased was Australia, which is a romance anthology with a whole bunch of romance authors that I absolutely adore. And all of the proceeds are going to the to help the Australian wildfires that are going on to get them support and help. On to the ARCs that I have recently received. These are the last 10 ones, 10 ARCs that I have received. And starting off, that is A Cowboy to Remember by Rebecca Witherspoon. This releases February the 25th. I initially thought I had this book already. However, that copy that I had was an excerpt and this is actually the full book so I will be trying to read this soon and really excited about it. 
Blind Date with a Book Boyfriend by Lucy Eden. This was an exclusive, uh, an exclusive release. I believe you got a copy of it if you went to the Rip Bodice signing that she had and you had to purchase a signed paperback book, but I am part of her art team, so I ended up getting sent this as well, so I'll be looking forward to checking this out. I love her art that goes along with most of her books, and this one looks super cute, super cute. A Side He'd Never Seen by Christy Lee. This one is live, and I am part of Christy's art team, and this, I believe this is a novella, so I'll be getting to this one shortly as well. Mirage by C.M. Radcliffe. This one is live. It is part of the Sinister Fairy Tale um, collection, and I have actually already read this one. You can check that review out. It came out for week eight. Flame by Alethea Romig. This is the second book in the Web of Desire series, and this book is live as well, so go check it out. You can check this review out in the video with Mirage as well in that week. Lost Girl by D. Garcia. Talked about it before. Had got, I have my own copy now, but I received it as an ARC as well. It's now live. Something to Talk About by Merle Wilsner. I requested this through NetGalley and was received a copy of it or gifted a copy of it from the publisher. This book does not go live until or won't be released until May of 2020 and super excited about this one. It is sort of hyped. I have seen it around so hopefully it won't disappoint me. Legend by M.R. Leahy and this one is live. It is part of the Sinister Fairy Tales Collection. This is a retelling, reimagining of Tarzan, and I loved it. It was so good. So very good. You guys need to go check this one out. I also got Real Men Knit by Kawana Jackson. This book releases May of 2020, and I'm really looking forward to this one. I believe it's a Black author, and uh, I love this cover, which is why I requested it through NetGalley and was gifted it. And the final book that I have recently received is The Wedding War by Liz Talley. This book releases April of 2020. And I, when I saw this cover, I got the feeling of The Wedding Wars or Wedding Wars with uh, Anne Hathaway and Kate Hudson in it. So I was like, ooh, maybe it has that feel to it, so I'm going to go ahead and request it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, that this book rocks my world. So, those were the last 20 things that I received on my Kindle. Have you read any of the ones that I have talked about that are live? Have you received an art copy of any of the ones that I have art copies for that aren't releasing yet? Uh, let's discuss those things down in the comment section, your thoughts and your feelings about them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. There's a recommendation form down in the description box now as well. Kofi page and all my social information is down in the description box. So go check that stuff out. Thank you for watching and we will see you guys later.